that marks the start of the Solar Decathlon. 20 college teams are here competing to build a fully functional solar powered house. With only eight days to build a house, every second counts. Georgia Tech gets a jump on the competition by being first to unload their truck. But right next door, there's trouble at the Penn State site. Their truck is missing. I'm kind of scared that the house isn't here yet, but there's not really much I can do. So you just kind of have to relax, bite the bullet, and take it as it comes. While Penn State waits for their truck, other teams work literally through the night and into the next. Amazingly, some of the homes look nearly completed. I head straight to the Penn State site to find out if their house even showed up. The status is, uh, this came in about noon. We had a little trouble on the road, but it got here all right. That's good news for Penn State. While they struggle to catch up, I decide to go check out Georgia Tech's progress next door. This looks like a solar panel. It is. How many are you guys putting on your house? That's, that's a good question. Uh, let's see. So 36, I, I think, is correct. I think Penn State's using 37. Oh. Uh, they would need 37. All joking aside, the teams take the competition seriously, although Penn State considers themselves the underdogs. But I think that's a good thing. In any competition, you don't necessarily want to be on top because usually people know your strategy. For another week, the teams continue to perfect their houses until the long nights of construction give way to the opening of the solar decathlon. The mall is transformed into a solar village dotted with houses powered entirely by the sun. So how do you win this thing anyway? It's all about racking up points in 10 different categories, such as architecture and energy balance. So this is the shower test. Um, teams have got to run this twice a day and they have to basically simulate a shower. So that means producing 15 gallons of water in 10 minutes or less at 110 degrees. So if you can't get the 15 gallons, if the flow is really bad. It's probably not a good shower. So we get that you fail all together. And you are good. So, got 15 gallons at 112 degrees, full points. Okay. Teams must also give public tours to show off the energy saving features of their houses. This is very cool. These are the solar panels and they adjust according to the sun as it's hitting them. They, they actually adjust to get the maximum sun exposure. Hi. This is the bathroom. This is the floor and you're going to cover up the bed? Yes, yeah, so you cover over and um, yeah, to have much more room for, for the... Do a little polka. <laughs> right. <laughs> After only a couple of days, leaders emerge and it's not what anyone was expecting. In the top spot is the University of Maryland, a local favorite. In second place, the Technical University of Darmstadt from Germany. And in third, that so-called underdog team, Penn State. I guess that's what we've done. We've been the underdogs and no one really saw us coming. This morning, the winners of the market viability contest will be announced. If Penn State doesn't place third, their chances of getting a trophy are pretty much over. We're nervous, Georgia Tech is right behind us. Um, this is one of the turning points. If we do well in this, then that's good. With great ado, I announce the winner of the market viability is University of Illinois. <laughs> Number two team is University of Maryland. <laughs> Very proud to announce the third place team is Penn State. We may be in third place now, and quite a bit can change. We still have a lot of competitions to go. There are a lot of good schools here that are very, very well renowned for their engineering especially. Some of it kind of makes me a little bit nervous. It's all coming down to who did best in engineering, and everyone has their game face on. The engineering jury, three guys, came through this morning. A couple of the jurors I knew fairly well and had talked to many times before. One of them has been to Penn State a few times before that I've talked to, so we were fairly well received there. Brian and the team are doing everything they can to save power, such as turning lights off and closing the doors to gain maximum points in the remaining hours of the competition. Welcome to the awards ceremony for the 2007 Solar Decathlon. Penn State members anxiously wait for the announcement of third place. Their house almost didn't make it to the decathlon. 
third place, the Cinderella team from California, Santa Clara. Santa Clara's win is unexpected, but Penn State isn't out yet. In second place, the team that wants to lead everyone to an abundant future, the University of Maryland. That was Penn State's last chance for a place on the winner's platform. Last minute points dropped Maryland into second place and made champions out of... Technical University of Darmstadt. Back at the Penn State House, the team accepts their close defeat. They came in fourth place overall, losing third by only four and a half points. We have worked our tails off to get to where we are, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Just seeing people's faces light up when they walk in and go, wow, I could live here. This is, this is nicer than my house. Absolutely amazing and makes every instant of it worth it.